So the given series here is 3, 10, 20, 39, 85 and x which is question mark and we got to find out what is x here. So let's see, let's let's work on this. I mean there's like 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 I mentioned there's no method. I can just give you the logic that is that needs to be followed to get the value of x here. Look at the differences between these consecutive numbers, right? 3 and 10, the difference is 7. 10 and 20, the difference is 10. 20 and 39, the difference is 19. 39 and 85, the difference is uh, you know 46. Right? And 85 and x, of course, we don't know the difference here, but accordingly, some difference would come here. Now, is there a logic in these differences? No. 3 and 10, difference is 7. 10 and 20, difference is 10. 20 and 39, difference is 19. 39 and 85, it is 46. But 7, 10, 19, 46 are not in a rhythm, right? It doesn't give us any flow. There's, there's no uh, there's no logic. Looks doesn't look like there's a logic here, right? Let's let's take the difference one more time, right? 7, 10, 10, 19, 10, 46. See if it helps us in getting some idea. So 7 and 10, the difference is 3. 10 and 19, the difference here is 9. And 19 and 46, the difference is 27, right? 7 and 10, the difference is 3. 10 and 19, the difference is 9. And 19 and 46, the difference is 27. Now look at the differences. Of course, we cannot find out the next difference. Unless we know the next number, we cannot find out the difference between these two. Right? We got to find out what this number is. But then, if you look at these three numbers, do you find some logic there? Yes. 3, 9 and 27. They are in some fashion, right? What's the fashion? This 3 is like 3 power 1. 9 is 3 power 2. 27 is 3 power 3. Yes or no? 3 power 1, 3 power 2, 3 power 3. There is, a, there is a logic there. There is a logic there. And if you continue with the same logic, next one has to be 3 power 4. Yes or no? What is 3 power 4? 81. So by that, the difference between 46 and the next number has to be 81. Yes or no? Let's assume this number is x dash. So can I say x dash is equal to 46 plus 81? I mean, that's what has happened, right? So for 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 9, 19, 19 plus 27, 46. So 46 plus 81 should give you x dash. So 46 and 81. How much is 46 and 81? 120 and 7, 127. 127. So this is equal to 127. And just continuing with that, can you find out the next one now? Yes. What do we have to find out? x. What is x? x is nothing but 85 plus x dash. So 85 plus 127. So 120 and 80 is 200. 5 and 7 is 12. 212 will give you 212. So x, therefore, don't write this in the exam, right? You will not be given extra marks for writing so neatly and, you know, putting all the steps. x is equal to 212. And that's your answer. 212. Option, options are not there, but yeah. x comes out to be 212. All right. Next question, 7, 9, 21, 67, 273 and question mark. So what is the logic there? 7, 9, 21, 67 and 273 and question mark. Right? Let, let me write that series here. 7 followed by 9 followed by 21 followed by 67 then 273 and x. So what is the logic? What is the logic here? Look at it. Let's let's kind of connect 7 with 9, right? 7 with 9. It's like into 1 plus 2. 7 into 1, 7 plus 2, 9, right? 9 with 21. It's like into 2 plus 3. 9, 2 is 18. 18 plus 3, 21, right? 21 with 67. Into 3 plus 4. Just check that. 21 into 3 is 63 plus 4 is 67. Is there a pattern here? Yes, there is a definite pattern. Into 1, into 2, into 3. 2, 3, 4. So it, it follows a pattern, right? There is a pattern into 1 plus 2, into 2 plus 3, into 3 plus 4. Continue with the same pattern. So next one should be into 4 plus 5. Let's check that. 67 into 4 plus 5. What is 67 into 4? 240 plus 28, 268, 268 plus 5, 273. Yes, satisfies. So 7, 9, 21, 67, 273. Balance, right? Right? So can we find out the value of x now? Yes. x. x will be what? I mean, the next one should be into 5 plus 6. Into 1, into 2, into 3, into 4, into 5. Then plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6. So which means x should be equal to 273 into 5 plus 6. Do that calculation. What is 273 into 5? What is 270 into 5? 1350. Yes or no? Remember how to multiply a number with 5, right? 
Multiplication 5 is very easy. Take half of the number, multiply with 10. Easiest way to multiply a number with 5. Take half of the number, half of the value, multiply with 10. So 270. Don't, don't take 273. Take 270. 270 into 5. So half of 270 is 135 into 10, 1350. So 270 into 5 is 1350. 3 into 5, 15. 1350 plus 15, 1365. 1365 plus 6. 1365 plus 6. What is 1365 plus 6? 1371. Right? Trust all of you followed. Just look at the calculation. 1365 plus 6. 270 into 5 or, or do it otherwise right 200 into 5 1070 into 5 350 so 1350 3 into 5 15 1350 plus 3 15 1365 plus 6 1371 and that will be your answer so this is 1371 and now let's move to the last one. 431, 156, 499, 1228x. Now this is a typical one. This is a typical one. Right? I don't know how many of you uh, how many of you have been able to crack it, but yeah. Here it's hard to get the logic. I mean, I, I would be very honest, I failed to crack this. I could not crack this question. I could not crack this one. I just skipped it. Uh, for me, the solution was skipped. I couldn't get it in the first few seconds, so I just skipped. I just skipped. I would like to say that, right? Well, it may sound, may not sound appropriate to all of you. Maybe like, you know, how can you skip a question? But yes, it happens. And that's what I want to preach, right? I want to tell you that don't run behind these questions. Don't try to crack every question from number series. That's a gamble, right? Something which has got no method, no definite method. Let's, let's try this anyway. See what happens. 4, 431, 156, 499, 1228 and X. Let's, let's look at the differences. See if that gives you a logic. 4 and 31, the difference is 27. 31 and 156. What's the difference? 31 and 156. So 156 minus 31. That gives you uh, 125. 125, yeah. 156 and 499. What's the difference? So it's like 500 minus 156. 500 minus, uh, assume 499 is not 499, it's 500. 500 minus 156, it will be, uh, you know, 344. But it was not 500, it was uh, 499, right? So 344 minus 1, 343. This would be 343. You getting that? Or, or just do the difference. I mean, I don't have to explain you every step of calculation there, right? 499 minus 156. Next, next one, 1228 minus 499. Now this, I would say, take it as 500. Subtract 500. Don't subtract 499. If you subtract 499, it will take longer. So let's subtract 500. So 1228 minus 500, 728. But you know, you were su supposed to subtract only 499. You have subtracted 500. You have subtracted one more, right? So add that. So 728 plus 1, 729. And then accordingly, if you proceed, you should get the value of x. Now, is there a rhythm? In these numbers, in these differences, 27, 125, 343, 729. Yes, there is a rhythm. What is the rhythm? This is 3 cube, this is 5 cube, this is 7 cube, and this is 9 cube. 3 cube, 5 cube, 7 cube. So we are taking cubes of odd numbers starting from 3. 3 cube is 27, right? 5 cube is 125, 7 cube is 343, 9 cube is 729. So what should be the next one? If you just follow the pattern, the next one has to be 11 cube, right? 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. What is 11 cube? 11 cube is 13, 31. So your answer here, X should be 12, 28 plus 13, 31. 12, 28 plus 13, 31. Now find out the sum. 1200 and 1300 is 2500. 28 and 31 is 59. So 2559. 2559 will be the answer. 2559. 2559. Now you might be wondering, right? Really easy. 3Q, 5Q, 7Q, 9Q. Then how did I not get the answer? I did not get the answer. I was thinking in some other way. I was not looking at difference. I was trying to do something else with the numbers. I was trying some multiplication. I could not get it. Right? So it happens. It happens. It happens with me. It can happen with you. Right? 
So the moral of the story is do not waste too much of your time in trying out such questions. If you get it in the first 10-15 seconds, well and good. Otherwise, the best way to solve these questions is to skip.